okay? That's fine, right? But at a higher level, it's here, and now this comes right here. Right. Do you see how, how tight that figure eight is? Right. Right. So your figure eight's not tight. You're still not tight. Your figure eight is very well over the place. Okay. All right. So, so you, you have to work where the figure eight comes very tight. So I'm here, here, up.
same rules apply, right? So I'm here, I'm here, right? So all the same rules apply in terms of right how we move, right? Right. Mm -hmm. So don't just fall into it. Right? right. Same thing. Stepping in, you have to have the balance. Right? Okay. Here, then this same thing. Figure eight. Here. Here. Same thing. Here, 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 here. Same thing. Here, Nuki. Right. Then here, down, side, big strike, up, temple, down, hand strike, side, Nuki, copy it again. Save chin, knock the ball up. Thrust. This hand, right, because the bow extends, right. and now this comes from ground to sky. Right, now you step. Now you step, this is a deflection. So you deflect, Okay. now it comes sky step to ground. ground. Okay. Now you come back to a third and a third, right. deflect, Osa. then come up. Where's the bow finishing when you do the sky to ground? Is it out? Is it in front? Does it? It always finishes directly in front. In front. Okay. So when I, I, I do this first one, right. it comes up here. In front. And I do here, right. and it comes here. Okay. It finishes to the same spot. In front. Right. Okay. Then it's here. Then O side. Right. Kakeuke. Now I change the grip. Drop right. to one knee. Here. Change the grip. Here. Stand up, block, hand strike, side strike, nuki, kake uke. One, two, nuki. Foot comes back. One, two, nuki. Foot comes back. One, two, nuki. Kake uke. Kake uke. And you step behind. Uh, step over. Okay. But it doesn't matter. Okay. Kake uke. Right? Now again, step back, block. Pick it up. Come in, side. Right. This comes here. Right. One, two. So again, when you're here and you step, don't just step and right. let the weight fall forward. Right. You're here, you should be able to do this. This should right. be free. Right. right? So you thrust, now you thrust again. 45 degrees, block. So pull the block in, circle, block. Mm -hmm. Right? Now, big strike, this comes over and right. it gets put out again. Right. Now, top of the head. Stance opens in the Sayuchin, block. Knock his bow up, get out of dodge. Uh, so that one, that, that we blocked there is there, okay? Yeah. Okay. Well, then you block the head. Right, but I'm saying when you land, it's here. When you I land, you're, you're, you're landing here, ready to, ready to fight. Right. Right? So, so after I, so again, so I was here, I come here, I do the second one, here. It opens here, up, here, Osa. Right. Drop back, head block, come down, strike the legs. Come here, up, down, side, side. Here, 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 Kakeuke. Back, same thing here. Come up from underneath, big swing. Here, Nuki, here. Step back, here, up. Step in, same thing. Step in, here, here, here. Here, attack, here. Deflect, step in, hit. Draw back, Nuki, lift the heel, Kakeuke. So, in a Rashi bow, when, when, when we're top of the head, one, two, here, here, is this head or is it hand? I'm always going ahead. I strike low. You strike here. Yeah. So, okay. in a Rashi bow, when, when I'm here, right, and I'm here, right, and I'm here, right, one, two, mm -hmm. here, right? Level. Okay. Okay. So down and so, then side so side. So you, you come in to attack my knee, right? Right. And I block, 
and I, I do this. Okay. What's my closest target? The hand. The hand's my closest target. Right. Now, here, here, or here, I don't care, and drive in. I've always been going side, side to the head. Well, you, so again, I take this and I swing this as hard as I want and I hit them like this. Right, it's still gonna. I don't care if the, the bow might break. Okay, fine, but I'm not gonna feel anything. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna feel a lot, yeah. right? So, <clears throat> so again, you've gotta figure out what's going on with the attacker, right? So what's, what, what's the fastest thing my technique can get to? The hand. Right. Because it's so, right. So, so again, so when, when I come in and I'm doing this, right, one, right, the hand's right there, I drop it, right? Now here, right? Now I can thrust it, right? Okay. But again, so, the, you know, the target availability is, with weapons, the hand, what's going to be the closest thing to the it? Hands. The hands, right? Again, you, know, you eliminate the hand, you can't hold the weapon. If you can't hold the weapon, it can't kill you with the weapon. Right. So until you figure out the path, you can't swing the ball. So God Key used to have us do this exercise. So it's this and here. Then it comes here. See how natural it looks? And you hear that, you hear the power. Oh, I mean that's speed. If I would have hit you a knee with oh, that, was, your well, whole knee would have How are you finishing that afterwards? So you come low. I'm banging the... See, you're because this is what Ishinaru does. Ishinaru does this. It comes this way. Okay. Mariyoshi does this. It comes this way. Yeah, I'm just not seeing that, that second. So here. Here. Now okay. take your left hand. Yeah. And push it up. That's it. Oh, uh, okay. So, so here. So, right. What do you mean by the path? Is it the path straight across? Or I, well, I the path. Say. The path is the path, right? So, what you have a tendency to do is you kind of do look like this, right? For okay. me, I just look like this. No tension. Just relax and let it go, right? So you got to figure out the path of your hands, too. you got to figure out how, what's the adjustment on my hands. So I can't do a no, third and a third. Do this, you right, your hands have to get smaller for right. this technique. Right. Right. There has to be less space between your hands for this technique. Right. So, and the tip in general is your temple height. So if I come out and I'm going for the head, this, the tip is slightly up, it's not aligned with my temple, right? But now if I'm going low, well then I'm going low, right? So again, I come here, I come here, and I come up, and I come. He has to do that as a basic, you start here, yeah. like as though you blocked, okay. and then it comes down, right? And then, and then from here, it comes right up. Then just turn your body, come up like this, here and up. Turn your body, here and up. Turn your body, here and up. It feels a little See what you're doing, see, watch. This is what you're doing. Watch me from behind. No, you're not dipping. He's doing something up. He's doing something completely different, right? So, I said to start off here, right? Yeah. Okay. Now I come here, and it comes up, right? Yeah. You're doing this. Well, that's what it oh. is. So start up like this. So watch. And then. So in the beginning, yeah. you make it three pieces. Yeah. So you start here one. You come here two. Now this comes up three. Now you turn your body. You start. You go back to your original starting that's position. One. Come here. Two. Here, here. So the bow is always right. So I'm not doing this right. This is what you were doing. Bringing the bow over your head like that. So, right? One. So it's here, up, turn, right? Turn, the bow comes up, here, up, bow, right? Here, up, right? I'm not going to worry about the whoosh. No, don't worry about speed because you got to get the mechanics. So, one, two, right? Focus it low. One, one, two. Yeah, focus it low, but stop it. You gotta stop, stop it. Stop again. Yeah, because you gotta focus it. Right, okay. Right. Watch your last thing right there. One, two, I'm doing it, right? three. I just let it <coughs> so, so there's a pivot point here in the end, right? And the bow the bow spins around the pivot point. Right? Uh, now there's a pivot point here, right? And the bow spins around the pivot point. 
right? Now it's here, right? Here, here, right? So totally relaxed. No power, right? And just relax and let the, let the, let the bow do its thing, right? Here, right? So here, right? Here, here, here. Let it just swing. Totally relax. Let it just swing. I could have sworn I was. Totally relax. Right? Here, right? Here, right? One, two, right? Here, here, here. Here, relax. Right? Here, here, here. The bow. So let the bow move, right? Here, here, right? Here, here, right? Here, here. Just let the, just relax. Let the bow, right? Let the bow do the work, right? One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. That's fine. At a certain point, 
you will get stuck right. and you won't progress because you're not trying to move the figure out the best way for your body. To Especially move. if you're a six foot tall, right. heavier dude, right. and you're trying and, to move like and, a fighter. And, 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 yeah. and if the teacher is saying always, well, so you can't get a move, and he can't figure out how to get you to get that move. Okay, well the problem is, is he's trying to get you to do the move exactly like he's doing it, and that may not work. So you have to figure out how, as a teacher, you have to say, okay, well, how am I going to get the student to figure this move out, to be able to move at his, his has different ways highest of level of ability? Yeah, so so the, the teacher has to say, okay, so this guy has got an issue here, so he's got to work through this issue, and I have to help him do that. But this other guy's got a completely different issue. There's, there can never be a one-size-fits-all approach, and there can't ever be where... You know, um, well, I want to look exactly, I want to be exactly like this sensei. Okay, well, that's okay, but you've already set a limit on yourself. Yeah. Right? I can never be as good as Tatsu Shimabuku. You've already put a limit on yourself. Hmm. I can never be as good as this guy. Right? Or I want to be exactly like that guy. Well, you've already set a limit on yourself. Yeah. So early on in the training, those are legitimate goals and thought processes. But as you train, you have to realize and say, okay, well, this is really about me and how I move. Hmm. It's not about how this guy moves or that guy moves, right? And you get out of someone in the dojo that you look and think the world, yeah. oh my God, if I could move like this guy, it'd be great. Hmm. But the way he moves is the way he moves for his body. Yeah. You may be able to surpass him if you figure out how to move for your body. So that's why like, sometimes people have different preferences, personal preferences in power. Right. Like, well, the other thing too is, is, in the beginning, you can only mimic. Yeah. Right. Right. So in the beginning, you can only mimic because you don't have any ability. Mm -hmm. So mimicking in the beginning and, and trying to look like someone is totally normal mm -hmm. and acceptable. That's totally correct. At a certain point, you got to say, okay, I got to figure out now for me, for my body, how I want to be able to move. Like, can I move at a higher level? That's what's lacking. So people latch on to a personality of an instructor and they say, oh my God, I want to be just like this guy. But why do you want to be just like him? Because I can tell you, I can point out in every single person, including myself, that they have faults, mm -hmm. right? So, okay, yeah, you can use me as your guide, right? But as your guide, I should be trying to get you to move as well as you can move, right. not as well as I can move. Yeah, see, I see that with like you... Dean Barber when she was training, all high level, but right. everybody moved like right. you're this, this different. Right. You're all different. Because Barbara's a woman, right? Dean's body shape is very Completely different from my different. body shape, right? Right. So but you can still see right. wow, right. wow. Right. So, so that's the whole point. The right. whole point though is is if you just if you only get to the level the level of copying, well I'm gonna do my kata exactly like so and so says. Okay, great. But then you're gonna end But, but right. that's it. You're not going anywhere. No. Like, that's it. And that does not benefit you because you're not doing it to your best ability. You're doing it to, to look like someone else. Right? But then when, I, when you look really close, you realize, yeah, but he's not moving like that person. Mm -hmm. Like, he's mimicking that person. Right? And you have to learn to move like yourself. That's why right. all, this, all the senior teachers that train properly, they never look exactly like their sensei. Mm -hmm. And if they do, that's a problem. Right? So, you know, people say, well, uh, Angi Weizu doesn't look like Tatsuo. Or uh, Kichiro Sensei doesn't look like Tatsuo. Yeah. Right. You know, yeah. So, I mean, because they're training, they're training all these years, and they, they, they figured out how to move for themselves. You know? So, you know, you want to move well. You don't want to just be a mimic of someone. You know, like McCarthy said to me one time, he said, you're a visual learner, right? And I know exactly what he's talking about, yeah. right? So, like, I can see a technique, and I can usually do the technique right away. I may not do it at a high level, but I can do it. Because I visually see it, and I'm able to connect the move in my head with my body. Yeah. Okay. But time out. All right, so now I got the technique. 
Okay, but now I have to take it. Work for now I have to work that technique and make right. it work for me. Right. So that so now okay now it's my job. I have to figure it out. I have to do it mm -hmm. the right way. That takes work. That <laughs> takes work. <laughs> that means you have to figure it out. Yeah. Right? So so this is this is this is the big problem, right? Everyone just kind of mimics someone within the dojo, whether it be the sensei, a senior student that they like, and they're like, boy, I want to look like him. I want to look like this guy. Instead of realizing that's not, not the end result here that you're looking for. The end result is you have to move the best possible way for you, and you have to figure that out, how you're going to accomplish that. And that's, that's, that's the hard part. That's the very hard part. The rest of the stuff is easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.